In order to perform a fly migration into Exchange Online for Office 365, one of the things you need to do in Fly is to set up what's called an Exchange Connection. To do that, we log on to Fly. Over on the left, we go to Connection Manager, and up at the top, we click on Exchange. You can see I currently have no connections configured. To create a connection, we click Add. Over on the left, we can see we have two choices, Exchange On-Premises and Exchange Online. The Exchange On-Premises option would be if you were using an Exchange On-Prem server as a source for your migration. If I'm migrating up into Exchange Online, we select that option. Now below that, in order to complete the connection setup, we have to make choices for App Profile, Service Account, and then Password. App Profile is an optional setting which allows you to perform your migration in a more modern, more efficient way than using a service account. To create App Profiles in Fly, before we came into this box, we would have gone to Migration Settings and selected App Profile. Creating the App Profile requires global admin permissions in Office 365. So if you didn't have that, that's okay. You'll still be able to perform your migration through the service account. We recommend reading up on app profiles and service accounts over in the Fly user guide, just to make sure that you're using what's most appropriate for your requirements. If you did set up an app profile previously, you would be able to select it here from the dropdown. But with the assumption that maybe I didn't, and I'm just working off of an Office 365 service account, because maybe my customer hasn't given me the global admin permissions in Office 365, service accounts need to be previously set up, which you can do under Migration Settings, just like you could for App Profile. So that way, once you get to this screen, you simply go to the dropdown and select the service account that you want to use if there are more than one. Down towards the bottom, the only advanced option is to choose an agent to run the migration. The agent is part of the Fly installation. And since I have Fly set up as a simple installation, which means it's entirely installed on this, my Microsoft Surface, I will select that down at the bottom. And then we click Add. Once that is complete, we can see the new Exchange connection now in place. And if I already have my G Suite connection done, I am now ready to go and actually set up my migration. Thanks for watching this short video on setting up Exchange connections in Fly.